and it's scary, right? <laughs> Hi guys. Um, I did promise I was going to make a Comic Con vlog for everything I got. So we're gonna do this quick because I don't want to make another 10 minute video and if I do I apologize. So we're gonna start with um, the comics here. Uh, and if you haven't already seen the uh, Comic Con videos I put up, uh, they will be on the link below um, to watch all three days. And I took like 40 minutes worth of footage. <laughs> so it was a lot. So we're going to start with uh, this comic, G Man by Chris Chiarso. And he's the uh, artist for Itty Bitty Hellboy. And this is his own comic, which was like two bucks. But. Um, I still want to read it. I gotta take it with me. Um, we also have this one, which kind of got stepped on, and I hate that. <laughs> uh, called Unmasked, which is signed by the uh, artist and writer. Let's see. Yeah, so art. So. Oh, I didn't even notice so <laughs> this Comic Con. <laughs> okay, we also have this was a convention exclusive. For Skylanders, it's a hardcover book, exclusive, and it's basically just four different stories put together. Um, these stories are already gonna be in like the single issue comics, so I mean I, I plan to buy the single ones anyway. So this is essentially reading a ahead, of, you know, in advance, and. Um, these I'd love to make as a video one day because uh, you don't see these very often. Mad Libs. So I bought three Mad Libs. I bought a WWE one, bought a Turtles one, and I bought a Skylanders one. And then we have this Comic Con one. There was actually a Snoop Dogg one, which I wanted to get because I was so curious as to how they could have that. There was also a sex one. Um, they had adult themed ones, which I should have bought when I saw them. Um, we also have for the upcoming Marvel Secret Wars storyline, which is I think in summer, next summer, we have this little mini poster. I I always forget that this screen <laughs> I'm looking at this screen which looks bigger and then this one's smaller. So I'm not used to this setup. This is the first time I think I've ever actually recorded a vlog on this style. Which I like. Um, we also have this Secret Wars comic, which was free. And I've always been a sucker for uh, Disney comics, um, like anything of 90s cartoons. So having Tailspin and uh, Chippendale, DuckTales. Gotta love my love my love my Disney cartoons. Um, I'm also a big fan of uh, Gambit and Nightwing, and um, I can't remember what was the video. There was a video of like uh, both of them fighting each other, which I thought was like the biggest like nerd moment I've ever had. <laughs> so I have one of each, some random comics I got, and we have oh oh I love these. Um, let me put this down. We have uh, two convention exclusives. Um, this one is a Mega Man one. This one he's going by Comic Con. It's basically just a storyline, but it a regular story. Yeah, of a Snake Man. But this is for issue number forty-one, and then we have for the uh, Cartoon Network crossover that IDW is doing called the Secret, uh, Super Secret Crisis War. Yeah, this. And if you already get the hit reference to this, it's from Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> and you can see there's a lot of uh, like mixed cartoons going on right here. You got like Ben 10, and Dexter, and uh, Samurai Jack, and uh, Powerpuff Girls. Um, I don't see the others. Put this back. And my video is already hitting five minutes, which shows you how long I take. 
Um, I've always been the type of person that likes to get uh, comics that are worth worth more for their value. So like, if they have so many pages, I think, oh my god, that that's automatically a great comic. So I have a Batman 80 page thing, which was a dollar, which I thought was worth the money. And because I plan to eventually read this storyline at some point, the Forever Evil storyline for the new 52 of DC. And for uh, my Doctor Who fans, uh, we have of the 10th Doctor, number 2 issue. And we have a blank cover of uh, the 12th Doctor, which actually the cover is inside. The reason for the blank covers are mostly because you're supposed to get them sketched out. You, you get to an artist and they'll draw out a little picture for you. And that's what they're for and they're blank too. And I think that's the comics. And then we have for the toys. Oh boy, toys. I was grabbing so many free sh shit. I lost count. So, uh, I I did become a Game of Thrones fan earlier. Become a Yeah, I said that right. Um, I did become a Game of Thrones fan earlier this year. Um, so I had to buy one of these little vinyl figures. And we got um, the White Walker. I think that's what he's called. And I ended up thinking that there was, it was this one, this glow-in-the-dark one, which is actually a 1 out of 72 chance, which means it would have been a rare figure, and would have been worth a lot. But I ended up not getting that, but it's still good. We also have, um, for Valve fans, a Team Fortress 2 figure, which I only bought one because these are like 12 bucks each, and I... Thought twelve bucks for a figure is way too much for this month. So we got a uh, uh, blue. We have the blue side, red side, and then there's the randoms. We got little spy, little blue spy, and he also comes with a pack of cigarettes and a, a zapper or a zapper or whatever, whatever. He, and we have, um, these were always giving out free tons and tons of these. These were convention exclusives, uh, Mega Blocks. So you have a SpongeBob one. We have a Halo one. We have Call of Duty. And I grabbed so many of these because I love free stuff. You all know I love free stuff. And I think Undertaker is gone out of this box, which... Oh, yeah. So we have a, a knockoff WWE <laughs> Lego, which is not even real. This is not real, legit stuff. It's just that I thought it was pretty awesome that they did this. Um, so we have a little Undertaker, which I can't show you because it would be too small. I'm too blurry on this webcam. And uh, we got Mutant Manias, which I don't know what these things are. These are like little toy wrestlers. They were giving away these so, so many of these. And uh, we got for Endgame, we got a collector's card. Cards. Uh, I think we have a Hatsune. Yes, we have a Hatsune Miku fan. Which I think I actually do have a code for a game of hers. And I think that's pretty much it for toys. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Okay, and the last two things I want to show you. Um, one is because I want to get more, um, so not now, but during the summertime, this room's going to be redesigned. So um, I want to put up stuff like this. So we have a Lucario. I, I love this because it looks so badass. Looks like he's about to, like, effing ram. <laughs> this, that, that, that was completely out of context, I just realized. <laughs> okay, and we also have, because I'm a big Avatar fan, and you know I have to get this, I am a big Toph fan, so we have this giant Toph poster, which is not really a poster, but it's like very. 
thick. So I'm, I'm guessing I have to pin it or something to keep it up. And that's pretty much it. And we are actually just hitting 10 minutes now, which means I'm going to stop this video. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video and the uh, previous Comic-Con vlog videos. And I do plan to actually make more uh, vlogs in general because I want to start pushing for that more. And you know I do. I'm looking this way and I'm supposed to be looking this way. Because, yeah, I have goldfish crackers. <laughs> I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.